This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the test for unsaturation. We'll start by looking at the difference between saturated and unsaturated molecules. Saturated molecules have carbon to carbon single bonds, whereas unsaturated molecules have carbon to carbon double or triple bonds. So on the left, we have the full structural formula of C2H6, which is ethane. As you can see, it has a carbon to carbon single bond Therefore, it is a saturated molecule. In the middle, we have the full structural formula of C2H4, which is ethene. Ethene has a carbon to carbon double bond, therefore it is an unsaturated molecule. And on the right, we have the full structural formula of ethine, which is C2H2. Ethine has a carbon to carbon triple bond, therefore it's an unsaturated molecule. So to recap, we have an alkane, an alkene, and an alkyne. Alkanes have carbon to carbon single bonds and are saturated molecules. Alkenes and alkynes have carbon to carbon double and carbon to carbon triple bonds respectively and are therefore unsaturated molecules. Next, we look at the test for unsaturation. Bromine water can be used to distinguish between an alkane and an alkene. As we can see on the left, bromine water is a brown colored solution. When added to an alkene, the bromine water is decolorized. The color change will be brown to colorless. This indicates the presence of carbon to carbon double bonds in the molecule. It tells us that the molecule is unsaturated. When bromine water is added to an alkane, there is no color change. This indicates the presence of carbon to carbon single bonds and tells us the molecule is saturated. Finally, we look at an example. In this picture, we have hexane on the left and hexguanine on the right. Here we can see the full structural formulas of hexane and hexguanine. As we can see, hexane is a saturated molecule with carbon to carbon single bonds. Hexguanine is an unsaturated molecule with a carbon to carbon double bond between carbon number one and carbon number two. When bromine water is added to both compounds, we can see that there's no color change for hexane, but we have a color change of brown to colorless for hexguanine, which tells us that hexane is a saturated compound, whereas hexguanine is unsaturated.